Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review or morning review uh, or midday review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 21st of uh, December 2016. Please be, visit, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of numbers, the Asian markets overnight relatively uh, upbeat again. Um, certainly shrugging off terrorism concerns, geopolitical fears. Nobody really cares. It's more of a light volume Santa Xmas rally, and it certainly seems to be going full steam ahead. Now we've got the Shanghai up 1.1 percent, so a pretty impressive uh, bump higher there. The Nikkei down 50 points overnight. Now uh, this morning, in terms of uh, economic data thus far, we've had. Uh, uh, New Zealand uh, trade balance of, of out overnight. Uh, the uh, exports certainly uh, slightly uh, on the, more or less flat to uh, 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 as per expectations, uh, and the imports certainly stronger, slightly uh, sorry, slightly on the weaker side in terms of imports. Now, uh, the trade balance certainly on the downside uh, in terms of uh, Italian, uh, should we say French? Um, basically, inflation coming in more or less in line. Um, Italian inflation coming in in line. Public sector net borrowing slightly on the higher side, but certainly hasn't made much of an impact. Although sterling certainly is weaker, we've had more mortgage applications come out from the US, coming in actually came in stronger, and we're awaiting the uh, existing home sales data. Uh, obviously, uh, European data as well. We've got consumer confidence later on, and, uh, and that really is it. Other than the fact that uh, you have the oil uh, supply data certainly coming out too. Okay, now in terms of European markets thus far. Uh, the <clears throat> certainly are on the weaker side. Um, the FTSE down 10 points, DAX down 10, CAC down 25, FTSE MIB down today as well, 0.7, and the IBAX in the stock 600. Now, there has been there have been concerns with regards to the um, <clears throat> Italian and Spanish banks this morning. Certainly on the weaker side. Let's just bring up the uh, the actual banking index and show you. FTSE banks basically stalling here. Okay. Here we go. Stock 600. Okay, so stock 600, as you can see in the weekly chart, certainly into resistance in the banking index. Daily chart as well, certainly stalling here as well. So certainly indicating weakness in terms of the banking sector, certainly moving lower today as well. Certainly a risk aversion play, but again, like I said, folks, it's all about light volume um, float higher due to the Xmas, Xmas period, okay? And whether or not that will have the uh, the actual impact on the markets itself. Now let's bring up the German DAX. German DAX certainly uh, bullish, although it has broken out of its uh, rising contracting wedge pattern. So again, keep an eye on that. Going over to the weekly chart, the German DAX, you do have resistance in this zone. In this zone at present, it's whether or not we can actually hold it. Now, the daily chart itself certainly has pushed higher. Okay, so certainly indicating a move higher. 60-minute chart certainly broken to new highs, and again, whether or not it can sustain it, that's the question. Now, keep an eye on the 10-minute chart. See if we can start to uh, obviously trigger a bearish price action. Now, there has been one uh, important comment with regards to the European equities. Today is the last day for of ECB QE buying in 2016. So back on Monday, January the 2nd. So between now and January the 2nd, there may well be an opportunity for European equities to certainly move lower. So just bear that in mind. That's a, an important stat to understand and uh, take into account. Well, again, German DAX hasn't made a new high. So again, certainly is showing some signs of weakness. But we've seen this all week or even la all month, or even last two months. This is what basically happens with COIL. We consolidate above the previous <coughs> highs, and then the markets continue and push out over to new highs. Now, the euro USD has actually uh, retraced today. The euro is actually moving higher, so that is certainly is a f a basically creating a factor for the weakness in European equities. As you can see here, we push move from 1.035 to 1.0430 pretty impressively. So, again, keep an eye on that. That's an important factor to take into account. Okay. Right, in terms of the rest of the indices and where they stand, let's bring them all up. Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, we've covered. In terms of the French CAC, let's just quickly have a look here. 
Jim and CAC on the daily chart at the moment, we are seeing some signs of weakness with a topping tail. Okay, so again, certainly keep an eye on there. Double top certainly has held us far on the French CAC. Uh, obviously, you've got double top at 4850. Uh, you do have support down below at 4810. Keep an eye on 4810 in terms of the French CAC. Now, the 10 minute chart on the French CAC at the moment. Uh, in terms of potential support, we have support down below at 4815 and support at 4810. So we'll see whether or not we can actually test that support. But from the uh, 10 minute perspective, as soon as we close the gap, it certainly has been weaker for the French CAC. Okay. And that double top certainly has held. So logically, one would expect a lower high. Okay. So watch out for a lower high in the French CAC and watch for uh, obviously uh, weakness in the French CAC to continue. Certainly is showing weakness at present. Bringing up the FTSE 100, the weekly chart has negated the key red candle. This is the red candle that I expected to hold. That hasn't occurred. Certainly would expect a potential short squeeze up to 7100 now on the weekly chart. Certainly is a possibility. Although the daily chart is holding resistance. You have resistance here at 7055 and then next one is 7067. If that cracks, then obviously we take into account 7100 and 7120 as well. Moving over to the 60 minute chart, the FTSE we're still in that bullish channel. Uh, obviously, it's a contracting bullish, bullish channel, so again, be aware. Uh, higher highs and higher lows continue, and uh, certainly uh, no uh, sign of, of, of weakness thus far, okay? Especially with the Chinese markets at 1% overnight. Now, the 10 minute chart is giving you an alternative view, okay? You do have the possibility of a HS formation top and a reversal. Now, we did actually test the uh, previous resistance equal support at 7025 and at present it certainly seems like we are carving out a potential right shoulder okay so keep an eye on this right shoulder let's see how far we can sustain this before it starts to move lower i would start to get concerned at 7042 to 7045 okay if you are going to initiate a short position and to change your bias that certainly is a zone to look at okay and again, a lot of the onus depends on the US markets, whether or not they can actually flush or they continue. And the Dow breaks through 20,000 and continues its march higher. OK, in terms of the euro stocks, let's bring that up for you. OK, so let's bring up the euro stocks here. Daily chart of the um, euro stocks is an inside bar. So no real sustained move higher. 60 minute chart at the moment. We certainly have a potential for a double top scenario again, so no real uh, thrust to follow through there. In terms of the 10 minute chart, we have obviously moved lower quite substantially here. We've got an unfilled gap left open at uh, 3280, it's whether or not we can actually uh, hold on to that. Okay, so you're looking at lower lows and lower highs thus far, and then therefore looking for a potentially new low. So keep an eye on that. Okay, so if we do flush low, we're going on to 3260. Okay, then you've got 3250. So 3250, and then you've got 3240. So watch out for those zones, okay? At lower lows, lower highs. If you go back and retest the 3270 zone, certainly a possibility of a short. Again, bear in mind you do have the op, the uh, the, uh, the talk of a um, potential uh, QE ending today, and therefore that certainly is causing a, a weak. Uh, price action or certainly is causing weak price and ice price action in European equities especially given the fact that the euro certainly has rebounded from 1.0350 okay so again if we do flush low you're looking at 3260 and potentially low okay I think that's a good summation uh, bias itself again watch out for FTSE at 704550 if that can hold and you are looking at a potential flush and European equities certainly could be weaker as well but given the light volume Xmas rally environment, we all know, okay, um, it certainly is debatable whether or not this market can have a sustained move lower given the lack of volume. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.